Coming up inside LSU Gymnastics, a look back at a championship effort by the Tigers at Florida, and we'll take a look inside LSU Gymnastics at our athletic training staff, and then of course, the big 2016 home finale coming up Friday night in the Maravich Center against Alabama. All that and more coming up right now. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is brought to you each week by Gulf Coast Office Products, Louisiana's number one copier dealer, Gulf Coast Office Products, Sigma Engineers. Sigma Engineers is thankful to our clients who trust us year after year and to the commitment of our selfless employees who bring such great talents to our company. With experts in every discipline, our dedication to safety and quality sets us apart as one of the leaders in the petrochemical industry. Woman's Hospital. It's not about being the best. It's about being the best version of yourself. Be the best you with help from Woman Center for Wellness and Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending, the way home buyers prefer it. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is brought to you each week by Gulf Coast Office Products, Louisiana's number one copier dealer. Gulf Coast Office Products. Along with LSU head coach Didi Bro, I'm Mike Smith, and together we welcome you inside LSU Gymnastics again this week from the beautiful LSU Gymnastics Training Center on the campus of LSU in Baton Rouge. Didi, right off the bat, a championship effort for your Tigers at the University of Florida. It's been a tough place for all teams to compete over the years, but your Tigers took it to the Gators and now find themselves ranked fourth in the nation this week. You know, my, it, we got the kids ready and they, they were believers. Well, they absolutely showed no mercy against the Gators. Never were intimidated in, in this meet, Didi, and I love the way that LSU came out firing on all cylinders right off the bat on the uneven bars. You guys just were so fluid uh, hitting the handstands and those landings. You know, that's the, the thing that I think Jay has been stressing in practice the most on, on that event was the attention to the details of the handstands. And we've gotten better and better as the season progressed. But, you know, sticking handstands and, and executing landings has, has, has got to be the critical thing moving forward into the next portion of our season. Well, we've talked a lot about Maya Hambrick so far this season, sophomore from Temple, Georgia, and rightly so. And we're going to talk about her again this week because on the uneven bars, Didi, what a great way on the road, a 9875 road score, an amazing way. And I felt like you threw down some markers on the floor and said, you know, we're going to be tough to beat today. Well, I think our whole preparation and, and the lineup, the kids are very confident and they're confident in each other. And this togetherness mm -hmm. on this team is, I think, their driving force. Juliana Canamella is, well, th that young lady has gotten some quality, quality time on events that are not only is paying off this season, but likely in seasons to come. Oh, she's going to get better as, as we progress, you know, uh, into our postseason uh, for her to hit handstands and really work on the difficulty and, and move forward. And she's in a very critical spot in that lineup. That middle spot mm -hmm. sets up the end. 9.85 for the freshman from Waxhaw, North Carolina. And then Sarah Finnegan, you know, on the national broadcast on ESPN, Didi, much was made about Sarah being under the weather. And yeah. she was indeed under the weather. But, you know, you'd never know when she got up on the uneven bar. No, she was very confident that she could do a bar routine and give us what we needed on that event. She did everything we needed her to do. Freshman from Lee Summit, Missouri, and she was absolutely fantastic through the meet. But, you know, the exclamation point in the first rotation, Dee, Dee was Shay Zamardi. 9.875 anchor score, uh, and she was magnificent. Beautiful position, and that the routine is difficult. From start to finish, there's not anything in that routine that just fills space or you know we're counting skills I mean everything has a high degree of difficulty and the dismount is very blind very hard to see and uh, I think she's getting better and better each week. LSU came to play as we say you go over to the vault Dee, Dee and of course all, that's all about amplitude distance and sticking landings. Yeah and uh, Florida did a great job vaulting and, and, and set the mark, okay, this, this is what you have to do. Um, when we flipped events right there, they were a tiny bit ahead of us. We knew it was going to take our best vaulting effort thus far this year. And 
The kids got fired up and they gave it to them. And here comes Juliana Canamella on the vault at Florida, 9875 score for her. And then you roll right into Sydney Ewing with her one and a half. Sydney did a great job. She continues to get better. She's more confident in that vault. It's, it's a 10-0 start value, and we, we put it out there as our second vault, mm -hmm. which um, makes a statement, I think. It does indeed, and she turns it for the Tigers with a 9-9-0 score. Erin McAdeg, who played a big role in this meet, Didi, you inserted her into that vault lineup, and she just comes up aces. Well, Bob has really worked on her, keeping her chest up and trying to dart that landing, and she did all, what, 95 pounds of her. She just darted it right down in the mat. That's it, closer to a feather than, than a <laughs> yeah. dart. But nonetheless, it's a 9-9 score for the Tigers. And now you're rolling to the back half of this vault lineup, which is among the best in the entire country. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give a little throw out to Savona right here because she was that middle person. We also pulled Randy Wyrick out. Randy mm -hmm. had a bad landing in the warm-up, and I didn't want to take a chance. Um, and Jessica, we were kind of holding her back, getting her ready for Alabama. So she goes, does a full, sets up the end of the lineup. Maya Hambrick darts a vault. Just beautiful, stretched out in the air. You just don't land better than that. It had height, it had distance. And then here comes the Nat. The Nat, and she absolutely turns in a fabulous performance. It was good. She was so excited, so hyped up. Her parents were in the stands right above the vaulting area. She, she was so excited, she jumped out of her landing a little bit, but 9.95 um, will take. You know, if she had stuck it, it would have been another 10 in her pocket. How about a 49.55 effort on the vault, Dee? Yeah. yeah. That is a superb, one of the top scores for us uh, in, in the entire year mm -hmm. so far. And, you know, you're almost at 99 points at the halfway point of the meet, and that, that is a... Uh, what that, we what a just us, Mike? Both teams, uh, great it point. was just locked in and tied up right there at the halfway point. And speaking of the second half of the meet, We'll bring it to you right after this time out inside LSU Gymnastics. This gymnastics moment brought to you by Sigma Engineering. Sigma Engineers and Constructors. Safety, relationships, quality, excellence, engineering done right. Uh, my favorite memory is whenever we were against Arkansas this year uh, for our Mardi Gras meet. And um, it was just a really great time because Mardi Gras is a uh, celebratory period here and everybody was really excited and there was a lot of energy um, and it, that really helped us you know put together our first full meet of the season and we ended up with a very good score. So. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics with Dee Dee Bro is brought to you each week by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending, the way home buyers prefer it. Welcome back to Inside LSU Gymnastics from the LSU Gymnastics Training Center on the campus of LSU in Baton Rouge. And Dee Dee will pick it back up the second half of the meet. The first half, we're 12 for 12, absolutely motoring through this meet. You go over to the floor exercise, and right off the bat, your team starts tumbling beautifully, as we've come to expect, but also sticking some landings. Well, Sydney Ewan starts off and, you know, opens with a beautiful E, and, you know, the thing that, that this team does is, is difficulty, and we're not going to minimize our difficulty. We're going to continue to try to hammer it out and, and be consistent as you watch Sydney go through this routine. It was beautiful. She did a beautiful job. Every tumbling pass, her leap combination was beautiful. A solid landings, feet together when she's landing. All the things that that we're coaching every day in practice. Um, and and you know when you when you start like that and you set up the rest of the lineup. Nine eight seven five for the junior from Acadiana, mm -hmm. and and then you move on into Jessica Savona, some senior leadership on the road. Her final time of taking part at a meet in the O'Connell Center another fabulous uh, floor score but I took note especially of her tumbling only the second week that she's back right and it's just fabulous well she's got so much difficulty and nobody does a full in in their second pass mm -hmm. and but I tell you what 
her last tumbling pass, beautiful double pike at the end of that routine. Um, she's making a statement. You keep moving forward on the floor exercise, and again, that momentum, just like last week, now all of a sudden it's Randy Weirich's turn. Opens with a full end, solid landing. Her middle pass is three saltos. Mm -hmm. um, the, the thing we're working there is amplitude and continue to move that pass forward. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a beautiful double tuck, nice and high, you could walk under it. Absolutely. The senior from Las Vegas, Nevada, Randy Wyrick, with the first 9-9 of the evening for the Tigers on floor, sets up the anchor there. Ashley Nat, absolutely gorgeous, a 9-9-5 score. Wow, that tumbling each and every week. I, I just, we continue to struggle uh, for adjectives for it. She opened up with a double layout, which was fabulous. But it's just the dance, the presentation, how much fun she's having. How you know, she looks like I do this every day, and it's so much fun. And and you know, I'm a, I, I just want to entertain you. Now you're moving to the final rotation. The home team always goes to finish on the floor. Yeah. Always an exciting atmosphere, Dee Dee. But your team, you just blocked it out, and you went to the balance beam and did something on the balance beam that was just pure magic. Well, we let off with Aaron McAdeg, which which we're gonna do every week and I just have so much confidence in her. Absolutely beautiful balance beam. Everything she did was in the moment. You know, there, there's so much pressure on that event and let's keep in mind, we're at their house, 7,000 fans. This beam routine is critical. Set us up, set up the rest of the lineup. Beautiful, all the way to the end. Nice high dismount and lands it solid. Made a statement. Across the floor now, you got a Florida team that's doing good floor exercise. Absolutely. And again, you just feel like that momentum is starting to build well, one, you're, two. You're watching Maya go through this routine and you're thinking, okay, this is great. Yep. Every skill, solid, focused. And the thing that I tell her every time before she goes, no mind. Don't get up there and think, just react. Do, trust your training. Trust your training. 9875 for Maya. And and quickly, we just want to pause for a moment and mention Michelle Gaucher because oh, yeah. absolutely did a fantastic job uh, on the balance beam. Michelle competes for that spot every week. That's a kind of an open spot. She and Juliana and, and uh, Lauren Lee, they go back and forth and, and really compete for that spot. And, and she's earning it and she's beginning to feel real confident in that in that position. And does some beautiful gymnastics up there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when she hits, it's great. Really sets up Sydney Ewing, who goes 9-9, nine, nine, and, and that will start yeah. a string of three nine nines to end the meet. And what an amazing amount of pressure you put on the home team. Well, and, and I think what's happening now is there's a little bit of momentum. The kids are beginning to, to feel the end of that meet is coming. They're not looking ahead. Mm -hmm. They're staying in the moment. But we've got a one, two, three at the end of that lineup. And um, I've got all the confidence in the world in this, in this beam lineup. But when you got Sarah Finnegan, who obviously doesn't feel well, mm -hmm. and um, she's got a little bit of fever, so it's kind of clouding her judgment maybe a little bit. Her triple turn turns into a two and a half but it's solid. She finishes it, she gets up. There's not another break in that routine and, and, the, and the judges recognize the beautiful execution, the, the precision in that balance beam routine. So Sydney Ewing, 9-9, and then Sarah Finnegan with a 9-9-2-5, and that leads you to Ashley Nat, your beam anchor. You know, Bugs, you know, some may have thought, okay, the weight of the meat is on her shoulders. Right. But looking at it and reviewing the video of the meat, it was exactly the opposite. You know, Mike, a meat like this or any meat that's going to be close, you want it to come down to your last performer on your last event. Mm -hmm. If you win it there, you win it. And she, she blasts herself off that beam. And I think right before her dismount, you can read her lips. Yes. yes. <laughs> I, I was going to say the yes. same thing. You're exactly right. And um, it was dynamic. It was, wow. um, it was a moment in my, in my coaching career that I'll always cherish. Well, and 99 points plus at the second half of mm -hmm. the meet on the road in Gainesville. The Tigers win there for the first time uh, in a very long time and in the Gators' eight-year home winning streak inside the O'Connell Center. And speaking of streaks, when we come back after this timeout, we'll take a look at how the Tigers will continue their own streak in the Meribith Center on Friday night inside LSU Gymnastics. This week's exceptional performance brought to you by Woman's Hospital. It's not about being the best, it's about being the best version of yourself. Be the best you with help from Woman's Center for Wellness.
This week's exceptional performance goes to the Tiger Bean Team at the University of Florida, 49-575 in a hostile environment while the home team was on the floor. That took a will of steel, that took precision, that took focus and a commitment. I mean, that was excellence right there. You'll have more time to enjoy your life when you're more effective at work. So no matter how you define success, Savin Systems give you the tools you need to succeed. Contact us to learn more about Savin's advanced document management systems and make your office more effective. Savin works here. Call us at Gulf Coast Office Products and see how we can impact your business. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is brought to you each week by Women's Hospital. It's not about being the best. It's about being the best version of yourself. Be the best you with help from Women's Center for Wellness. LSU head coach Dee Dee Bro often says that it takes a village for the LSU Tigers to excel in the gym. And one of the big cogs in the wheel is Mallory Mickus in her second year as the Tiger trainer for gymnastics. This week's Inside Feature brought to you by Sigma Engineering. Sigma engineers and constructors, safety, relationships, quality, excellence. Engineering done right. A college gymnastics program is only as good as their athletic trainer. And Top 5 LSU has one of the best in the business in Mallory Mickus. Mickus not only cares for the well-being of the student athletes, she has a keen understanding of the sport as well. So I was a gymnast growing up. And when I was in high school, I took an athletic training course, and that's what got me interested in athletic training. So I went to undergrad at Indiana University, and they didn't have a gymnastics team. So I wanted to be able to combine my two passions, gymnastics and athletic training, which I was able to do in grad school. And that's what led me to want to continue to be in a gym. The girls are a great group. They're very polite. They're very welcoming. They're very friendly. And also, they work so hard. Their, their work ethic is impeccable. And they're always willing to try anything new or to kind of go the extra mile to make sure that they could perform their best in the, in the gym. Just letting us know if, if, if someone is not exactly right, if, if there's a foot injury or if somebody's having a problem with their, with their thumb, like Randy Wyrick, for instance. Um, sometimes a problem with her thumb might affect what she's doing on bars, but sometimes it doesn't affect her at all on floor or vaulting. So she kind of gives us a little bit of an insight into what's going on with them physically and how they're going to be able to emotionally handle an injury in competition. She's very valuable, you know, um, the communication between the coaches and us and any injuries that might occur, um, it's very important, especially now. Um, you know, it's crunch time, we need to keep our bodies as healthy as possible and um, being able to have that person to, to talk to and to help us, um, you know, take care of our boo-boos is definitely um, important for right now. I sprained my ankle in the fall um, preseason and Mal constantly had me doing rehab, constantly had me doing treatment, I mean constantly had me doing the things I need to be doing. And sometimes that can get annoying, repetition after repetition, and when you want to start going but you're not ready, um, she's really good about staying on top of that and letting you go and do things whenever you're ready. Mallory's a great trainer, uh, she takes care of us um, hand and foot, but she also is making sure that we're staying on top of our stuff, that uh, we take care of the little things so that as we get further into the season that she's going to uh, we're all going to have easier times just handling our bodies and handling the intense schedule that we do have. Mickus is part of an LSU sports medicine staff that oversees physical care for hundreds of student athletes. It's a blessing to be a part of the LSU staff. I'm so grateful for the opportunities and the amount that I learn from my coworkers and the amount they're willing to help is invaluable. I love treatment nights and Saturday morning off days where we're just all laughing together while the girls are doing their work to try to you know feel better and it's just it's an absolute blast. I really like having her as a trainer because she's very proactive with everything. She's very good at keeping track of what's hurting, when it's hurting, for how long and she's very good at keeping track of everything and staying on top of us so it's really nice to have a trainer like Mallory. Yeah, for any program yeah. consistency in your trainer position is huge. Um, having somebody that has some knowledge of the sport, that's been around it a little while, and that understands how to progress people back 
into a position where they can contribute. Uh, but you know, you want to be aggressive, but you don't want to be so aggressive that you run the risk of further injury. And, and that's where I think Mallory really provides us with a, a great deal of knowledge. Having been a gymnast herself and having a background in the sport, she has an understanding of the things that she can push on and the things that she can't. <laughs> Reporting for Inside LSU Gymnastics, I'm Garrett Wolfer. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. David specializes in helping first time home buyers offering conventional FHA, VA, RD, construction, and jumbo loans. David takes the hassle out of getting a home loan while making you feel right at home. Lending the way you like it. Call David today, 921-8152. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so proud of my team and the girls. They did absolutely amazing. We did amazing. We were so together. We were focused. You know, we came out here and we had a goal and we achieved it. And I'm just so proud of everyone. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is brought to you each week by Sigma Engineers and Constructors. Safety, relationships, quality, excellence, engineering done right. You know, Dee, this is a moment in time for your Tigers, and what do you hope to, to, to take away from a meet like this? It's, it's the, the rung of the ladder, it's moving up, moving forward, and we, we knew we wanted a, a steady incline with this team. We're young, and we're, we've got a mixture of kids that were on a very mature team last year. Some of them didn't get a lot of opportunity to compete, and now they are thrust into a position of real leadership and um, floor, floor leadership. This team has just got to take that as one more rung, one more step forward, and come into the gym, prepare for Alabama. A look ahead brought to you by Gulf Coast Office Products, Louisiana's number one copier dealer, Gulf Coast Office Products. Well, and now it's time to look ahead. It's LSU and Alabama, and I don't care if we're playing in the sandbox out back in the playground. It's going to be on on Friday night inside the Maravich Center when the Tigers and the Tide go after it. And a little bit of what's on the line here, not only the LSU Tigers' home winning streak, which stands at 20 in a row, but also an opportunity, Didi, for your Tigers to win the Southeastern Conference regular championship for the second year in a row. And it's senior night to boot. And it's a big deal. Yeah. It's, it's really a big deal. Alabama's a great gymnastics team, a lot of history and mm -hmm. great tradition on that team. They're not going to come in here and lay down. We're going to have to beat them, um, expecting them to come in and, and have as good a meet as they've competed all season long. A lot of maturity on that team, a lot of experience. LSU is, we are going to have a great show Friday night. So <laughs> LSUTix.net because it's been a hot ticket. It's going to be a fantastic show, a great way to end the 2016 home part of the of the season, and we want you to be in the seats and take advantage of this great opportunity that we have for you. LSU, Alabama, a lot on the line, and we'll recap it for you here, same time, same station, next week inside LSU Gymnastics. Thanks for being with us. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro has been brought to you by Gulf Coast Office Products. Louisiana's number one copier dealer, Gulf Coast Office Products, Sigma Engineers. Sigma Engineers is thankful to our clients who trust us year after year and to the commitment of our selfless employees who bring such great talents to our company. With experts in every discipline, our dedication to safety and quality sets us apart as one of the leaders in the petrochemical industry. Woman's Hospital, it's not about being the best, it's about being the best version of yourself. Be the best you with help from Woman Center for Wellness and Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending, the way home buyers prefer it. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network.